In relation to one of my videos on fill in the blank, Heather Adamson wrote, is there a way to expand the width of the dropdown? One of the things that you can do is give your learners a set of choices rather than actually have them type out the answers. Uh, that way you don't have to mark them incorrect for bad spelling. In this uh, video that she's referring to, yours looks nice and neat. Mine does not look like that. In my drop down, the first choice is cut off. The main problem is that when the user clicks a choice, they would not be able to see what they've chosen as the menu doesn't expand. Uh, this is a known issue, Heather. Uh, you will experience this, uh, but I have a couple of workarounds for you to consider. Here's an example. This is uh, complete the sentence below by filling in the blanks. We're going to mark sun as the blank here. It's a really short word, obviously. And the distractors I'm going to choose are going to be extra long. So we'll first of all demonstrate the issue that you're experiencing here. So I'm going to mark that as the correct answer. We're going to switch this over to drop down list. Mark that as correct. And uh, let's add some distractors here. Okay, so the problem here, of course, is sun is the shortest answer, and it is the correct one, and it's the word that's actually chosen from the original sentence. And I think what happens is that more often than not, we write these uh, fill-in-the-blank questions with the correct answer, mark it blank, and add a couple of distractors. What I'm going to suggest is that that might not be the best way to go. Let's preview this and see what Heather's experiencing. So yeah, you can see that, you know, when when Sun is the default answer and planet Jupiter, planet Saturn, planet Earth are the distractors, obviously there's not enough room. Certainly the drop-down list looks fine, but if I select planet Jupiter, all we really see is the P and part of the L. Uh, so <laughs> that's not a great option. So what I'm going to suggest here is to do a combination of several things. So I'm actually going to put in one of my distractors here. So the planet, and let's say Jupiter is the longest answer there. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of this by replacing it with a space. So we can mark planet Jupiter as our blank and then go in here, switch to drop down list and add, you know, the appropriate correct answer and some additional distractors, right? So, so that helps out a lot. And let's just do a quick preview of that. So I'll let you in on, on a secret. This is definitely an improvement, but if you choose the longest answer, which is planet Jupiter, it's still being cut off as well. So there's an additional step that you can take. Obviously the correct answer is sun and that looks fine. But let's make a small change to our question now to accommodate another possibility, uh, just giving them uh, a little bit more space to see their entire answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this selection of uh, drop-down lists here. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some spaces at the end of my longest answer. I'm just hitting the space bar a number of times. You know, and if you feel so inclined, you could copy it to some of the other ones if you're not sure which one is the longest answer. But that should work now. Let's do a preview in HTML5. Notice here it's already larger. So there we go. I think we have a solution to the problem. So now the planet Jupiter is the largest object in our solar system. No, that's incorrect. We're going to choose Sun. Submit that and of course correct is the right answer. So by using a combination of selecting the default word that's the longest and maybe adding a couple of extra spaces within your drop down list, I think you can manage uh, these drop down fill in the blanks and keep them looking nice. Don't forget, when you finish building that new e-learning course in Adobe Captivate, one of the easiest ways to share your e-learning for review is to get a free account at Review My e-learning. See all the reviewers' feedback in one place organized by slide. It really takes the hassle out of revisions for your e-learning course. Use the link in the description of this video to get your free starter account today. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. 
If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.